Hi Leo, welcome to your reading for the 27th of June. Wow, that, that's half a year gone already, isn't it? Um, I'm going to jump straight in with the True Black as a Celtic Cross. I'm going to use my oldest deck. I'm going to use the uh, Classic Rider Weight to do some clarification on. When I was um, putting these cards together, I was getting the Empress quite a bit. The Empress is um, a very a card of sensuality, a card of love. So I think already before doing this, I think you're in for a good week, Leo. You've certainly had a good, good few weeks. Um, so let's see, we just have this card in its exact position. I've only done two readings, so you're number two. Um, card of it. Oh no, it's not in this one, it was a different position. But um, Seven of Pentacles, this is a card of kind of putting your hands on your hips, going, Yeah, great job. Right, on to the next one. You, you've got a list of six things that cost a coin each, and you've got six coins, and then you've got a spare one that's growing more coins. And it's about doing a great job, being rewarded for that job, or you know, in a relationship, being great in the relationship and knowing that there's more to come and there's more to give. Just be careful of that, though, because sometimes um, this is the Four of Pentacles. So this is the hoarding card is a bit like, well, actually, the relationship's going really well, but I'm just going to hang on to what I've got. I'm going to hang on to the status quo. In the recent past, you've got the um, Two of Cups. That's the soulmate card. That's really good to see. In the near future, Lack and Misery. Um down at the bottom, it just completely in control of your emotions, really understanding that judgment coming in for you. I'm just going to do a quick read for the first sort of minute and a bit, and then those people can go away because they will have their reading, and then we can go into a bit more detail. Okay, so Leo, next week, it's, it's not as clear-cut as I thought it was going to be. Um, you need to listen to your intuition. You need to listen to your gut. There's some heartbreak going on. Um... Yeah, so you, you, you need to uh, dig quite deep, I think, Leo, to this one. And I think you need to see the full picture. You need to see the full picture. And you have got to listen to, you know, the signs and portents, you know, the black cat, the ladder, the uh, do I feel lucky, do I feel sensual. This is a bit of a different reading than I thought I was going to get when I was shuffling it. Okay, so I'm going to let those people go. You're in for a, you're in for an interesting week, Leo. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to go into more detail now, but that's if all you need to know is listen to your intuition, Moon and High Priestess, um, and the feminine side of your nature as well. Let that sort of feminine energy bubble up to the surface. Really go with your intuition next week. Okay, we'll see you for the next one. Right, for those that are still here, let's really get into this reading and find out what's going on. It's quite a complex one. This. So this is, you know, reward after effort and, and people, it's like the farmer going, I've just harvested all the crops, they're all in the barn, aren't I amazing? He's going to have a quick drink of tea and then he's going to go out and start ploughing the field again because it's a cycle, it's time to start going back round again. And that's what you're doing here. And then like I say, we've got this hoarding card, which is literally just hanging on to what you've got. Um, these coins have got vines growing up them butterflies are about ideas and they're stuck in this this cobweb of your own making you've got to kind of set your own self free then in the past you've got the soulmate card so whether this is the early part of next week or whether this was january or what you know the last 10 years i don't know but there's an end to hostilities as well the broken arrow there <coughs> these two angel fish are literally jumping into each other's universes it's real peas in a pod real soulmate energy and then in the near future you've got the five of pentacles which is kind of so you've got the four the five the seven this is a card actually over at libra land 1010 calls it a card of lack and it's true it's a it's misery it's self-pity we don't like to see self-pity leo you know you're sensual beautiful you're intelligent people that's why you're at this channel we know this so we need to work out why that's doing what it's doing down at the bottom in your sort of tummy feeling <coughs> where the butterflies live, you kind of, you, you you own your own emotions. You know when you're frustrated, you know when you're anxious, you know when you're happy, you know when you're ecstatic, you know the difference between happy and ecstatic. You know what giddy means, you know, it's, it's, it's about owning the whole kind of spectrum of emotion. And by owning, I mean, you can wake up one day and go, do you know what, I'm really unsure i'm really anxious and i i know that feeling and i know how to deal with it and i know i've just got to live with it for the next hour or or until this interview's over or whatever so so just trust your emotions there's a lot there's three cards here that are really quite emotional cards but they're emotional cards for the win you know it's 
it's it's a bit like your body's <clears throat> it's a bit like your mind saying I wouldn't go down that path if I was you, you know. And it, next week, Leo, if you get that message, don't go down that path. If if you're wrong and you should have gone down that path, that path will appear in the future. But if in doubt, you know, should I <clears throat> go on a second date with that person? Should I, you know, should I go for this job? Should I all that? Should I? There's a little light bulb moment, isn't there? There's a couple of things. If you're unlucky, you've got the devil on your shoulder going, no, you're not, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. We, we're not getting that energy. We're getting an understanding here. We're getting an understanding of being able to see the bigger picture or see from a different viewpoint, yeah, which which allows you to move forward. My So <clears throat> we've got the judgment card as well. What's really interesting in this judgment card in this deck is she's pointing at someone and she could be she's either pointing at this card, which I think she is because in a normal reading that would be up there. She's pointing at the three of swords. <coughs> Sorry about the cough, Leo. <coughs> she's pointing at the four of swords. But what she's doing is she's she's quite interested. See how she's pointing to a scar on the side as well. She's pointing at this and she's saying, I've been hurt as well. I know what you're feeling. I know what you're going through. Yeah, it doesn't matter how powerful we are. Yeah, it it's not going to help us. All the money in the world, all the looks in the world. If your partner has done something naughty and has left you, or what it it's done. Yeah, you can't do anything about that. And also, would you take somebody back? Someone who, who's had an affair, you take them back. Chances are they're going to have an affair again because. If you, if you were a five-year-old boy and someone said, don't climb that tree, and you climbed the tree, and they went, oh, you're so naughty, don't climb that tree again, you're just going to climb the tree again. There, there's no consequence to not doing that. It, whereas if you said to a five-year-old boy, if you climb that tree again, we're going to go home, we're going to leave you in the forest on your own. They would crap themselves and wouldn't climb the tree anymore. You, you know what I mean? Or they'd go, I don't believe you and climb the tree, but that's a bigger conversation. So, interestingly, the judgment card is pointing, but also she's pointing at herself at the same time. I've been there, I've I've done this, I understand what you're going through, yeah? There are other people out there you can talk to about this. I'm wondering if, you know, my partner is not being as truthful, or I'm wondering if this job is for me. A couple of mates will tell you the truth straight away. They'll go, at last you've asked us, no, it's not for you, or yeah, best thing you've ever done, straight away. And it's dealt with, it's dealt with straight away. And then that leads to this. So you're left with choices, choices, choices. There are lots and lots of choices out there. There are lots of other people in the world. Sometimes we we get what we deserve, and that's not always what we want. Because you know, I, I historically I've gone out with some real loony tunes, you know, because I was in a bad place myself. And then when you get yourself in a good place, you attract good people, and good people marry good people and good people have good children and those good children go up and they marry good people and, and you know what I mean it's a it's a, um, a cycle it, it's self-serving you know and if you're if you're going through a tough time and and your screens are quite negative you're going to attract people with similar screens and they're going to be quite negative as well so you can, you very rarely get someone in a relationship who's very positive and someone in a relationship who's very negative you don't get, you know, a, a pillar of society and someone who's addicted to something together or, or rarely, you know what I mean? It, it's peas in a pod, it's similar. So if you're attracting ne'er-do-wells and, and not very nice people, then you've got to look to yourself in the cold light of day. You've really got to be open to that. And these two cards here talk about that. They talk about finding some time. To, the, the lovely word with the high priestess is stillness. You know, just find some time to get stillness. She's got a key around her neck. You can unlock the door that the, the secrets are hiding behind. It's there. you just got to step through. Might not be pleasant, but what the moon talks about is there's untapped potential energy here to be not only a better person, but so much better. Yeah, so, so, so much better. I'm not... This is really weird reading for Leos. This feels very, very linear, you know, people, are, and it's not going to resonate for all of you. It might not resonate for very many of you, but someone here is going to be nodding the head like one of those nodding dogs on the back of a car because it feels like it's a message for several of you, but quite specific. So we've got changes, change, choices, choices, choices. You need to make a choice. There's no two ways about it. Do you want to stay in that relationship and suffer? Do you want to leave that relationship and start to heal? 
The hangman talks about <clears throat> giving yourself up willingly. He's giving himself up. He's turning into liquid gold. He's he's melting into the earth and he's creating this beautiful harvest. He's, he's just dissolving away to nothing. He's turning into butterflies. He's turning into ideas. It's a really powerful energy. This is one of my favourite cards in any deck, but in this deck it's probably second or third favourite. It's a great illustration. The guy is so serene. He knows what he's doing is the right thing to do. You've got to see it in a different way. You've got to give up the battle to win the war. You know, even though you know one more push and I'd win this battle, he's like, no, you're crushing the other person. You know, pretend to lose the battle. And six months down the line, you will have won the war and we'll all, you know, peace in our time. Fantastic. Three of <coughs> Swords is the Heartbreak card. It talks about, are you the sword or are you the heart? I don't know because this is general reading. You could have just done all of this to somebody, in which case you need to be magnanimous. You know, you need to, you know, really go inside yourself and, and say, why did I do that? And I've done it. I've, I've been hurt and I've hurt people. But equally, if you, um, if you know that you can't see a future with this person in 12 months time, why are you spending another 11 and a half months with them? You know, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. It's better just to go, do you know what? I just don't see a future together. When people say, where will you be in five years' time? I just think, not with you. Then then you've got to break it off. You've got to be the better person. And if someone says that to you, take it on the chin and go, okay, there, there are plenty of other choices. Where do I end up? I've got so much potential, yeah? I really understand myself now. She's been through the ringer as well. You know, she knows what I'm going through, as do other people. So you will get all the support you need. This is a tough one. This is the, probably the toughest read I've ever done. Um, and I think that talks to how well the Leos on this channel have, have been turning up in the comments. You've been saying, I really appreciate you being here, uh, every one of you. It's, um, it's, it's life affirming for me. So I'm just going to clarify with these three cards. Yeah, Five of Swords. If you look on there, you know, he's got quite a mischievous look on his face. These people have been beaten, so, you know, you've you've crushed somebody's spirit. But be careful you're not too arrogant. Be careful you're not taking risks because you're leaving them their weapons that they could turn around, pick them up and kill you. You know, you need to be magnanimous in victory or gracious in defeat. You know, this person at the back here, completely and utterly broken, you know. Who wants to leave somebody like that? Don't do that to people. Yeah, if someone's done that to you, well, more fool them. Uh, three of Pentacles. This is um, okay. Okay, this is a tough one. This is definitely a relationship read. Not seen work in this at all. I mean, this is a card of uh, well, probably is more working than the others. Three of Pentacles. You know, you got the abbot, the architect, and the stonemason, and the abbot has paid for a monastery, and the architect has designed one, and he's now building it. And everyone stood there nodding their heads, going, "Yeah, great job! You've done a fantastic job there." So it could be in a relationship. You know, you've got children, and you go, "Well, we've done a fantastic job with the kids. Do we hang on till they come out of university?" I can't answer that question for you, but what I would say is, you know, if you put the groundwork in, it's you know the monastery looks amazing the finished product looks amazing so you've got to put yourself first queen of swords um i think that's the yeah the queen of swords is the libra card in the minor arcana i love this illustration there's a couple of things that are really important on this uh well several things actually there are butterflies on the throne which is you know this this idea that you transform you become something else um Black Crow in the background is referencing Saturn, which is the planet of war. <clears throat> so, you know, you've really been through the ringer, but that's kind of flying away. That's going away now. She's above the storm clouds. Yeah, she's she's seen what's happened. She is now able to. Um, she's been hurt before. She's going to be hurt again. Yeah, she's aware of that, but she's prepared to look into the future and carry on. So, yeah, Leo tough week i'm not gonna lie to you that's a tough week but um you come out of it the better person that's all i can tell you you come out of this the better person so have a good one and i will see you next wednesday for the next one and we see where we get to with that take care